Robert White here to share some ideas potentially useful to leaders. People in social situations have asked me, what do mentors actually do? And my response is, I am an interruption. I interrupt patterns and communicate insight into attitudes, habits, and behaviors. You can learn more at therobertwhite.com. Hopefully this brief talk will be a valuable interruption for you. Hello, I'm Robert White, and pardon the interruption. I've been doing high-impact experiential learning for many, many years with thousands of people. And one of our exercises early in the training is called Ways We Avoid. We challenge people to show up in those trainings in an authentic way and to really focus on themselves, on the process, on what challenges them, but also what kind of turns them on, what gives that aha moment. And all of that requires that they be really present. However, in most of our lives, we're not really present. We're easily distracted. So we do an interactive exercise in the trainings where we ask people, how do you avoid? What are the mechanisms you use to avoid what's right in front of you? Maybe the relationship that isn't quite working the way you want it to, so you want to do something else. You want to get away. Or maybe it's a task. Maybe it's just a feeling you want to avoid. So what we've done through the years is invent all of these ways that we avoid. And when you do this in an interactive way 10 years ago, you would get television, you know, zone out in front of the TV. That's a way to avoid your life. Or games, or athletics, or even things like running, even things really healthy. Some people use them as ways to avoid. Or maybe it's to drink, or maybe it's to go to a party. So in many ways that would come up as we charted this, all the ways that people avoid. And then we would challenge people that if that kind of feeling comes up in the next few days of this training, be aware of it and start looking at what's under it. Maybe it's a fear, maybe it's a, just a, an inconvenience or it's uncomfortable and dive into that. All right, that's 10 years ago. What about today? Well, you can probably guess what the number one way we all avoid is. It's right here. And now we get the phone ringing, <laughs> which is absolutely perfect, right? Uh, <laughs> for purposes of the example, God is taking care of us. Now, this has become the number one way we avoid in life. In life. Every time we're uncomfortable, we get on an elevator, it's filled with people. We don't say hello. We take out our phone don't we? I know I'm tempted to do it. I've been having lunch with one group of friends for years and years. And in the last few years, when we get together, we do a telephone stack. Do you do that? It's great fun. Everybody puts their phone on the table like this. And if anybody's phone buzzes or rings during lunch, they buy lunch. And, and you know, all of these guys could afford buying lunch, but you know, it's kind of an ego thing and you don't like it to have it happen. But our friendship is more important than all this stuff this phone represents. For me, a phone is the most incredible tool, productivity tool in my life. It keeps track of my schedule, keeps track of finances, it keeps track of news, and it allows people to reach me and allows me to reach people, it allows me to stay in touch with my children with, and traveling around the world, that's pretty important to me. So this is a fantastic productivity tool. It's also the biggest time waster I know of, and it's the biggest way we avoid. So my challenge to you is wake up. Notice when you're pulling this out to avoid a bad feeling, or even avoid a good feeling. When you're using it to avoid, it's a trap, kind of like an endless series of traps. That's my interruption for today. The game for me is relationships, which require connection. So let's connect. The best way is to identify an issue, something that's captured your thoughts and concerns. And perhaps I could share some useful ideas in a 30-minute confidential chat. You can compare our calendars and book a no-obligation meeting at therobertwhite.com. You'll also find ways there to connect to my writing, speaking, and free weekly reminders. For now, have an extraordinary day, and I look forward to connecting soon.